stay tuned for another interesting episode. Hey, what's up guys? Crypto Keith here with Crypto Living. Please check out our Twitter, follow us because we always have good uh, trading signals and uh, things like that news uh, for you guys. So check that out at Crypto Living on Twitter. So for Interact eTransfer, it would cost you right now over 10 grand. So we have uh, the way that I would buy eTransfer at ten thousand three hundred and seventy three dollars we have paypal is always a little bit more expensive at ten thousand eight hundred twenty five uh, we have some e e-transfers that are eleven thousand for bitcoin uh, and then we have things like credit cards that are more uh, we have more paypals and then we have a paypal here for fourteen grand $14,000 for one Bitcoin, guys. And then we have some down here. MoneyGram for $15,000. And we have debit card prepaid for $16,000. iTunes gift cards, $17,000, $18,000. Uh, we have Steam gift card codes here for $28,000. $37,000 people want in iTunes gift card codes. For Bitcoin, iTunes gift card codes. Although the reason for this is because I think people can hack and get iTunes gift card codes for free and then they're buying Bitcoin with them. Obviously, people are going to want a lot more iTunes gift card codes because they're going to have to turn around and sell those. They're not going to spend $100,000 on iTunes. Although some people might. Cash by mail, you can get it for 11000 from the exchange to Montreal. Uh, gift card codes, 15000 So you can see there are lots of higher prices here, all the way up to $37,000, $40,000, uh, guys. But with just the normal cash, um, e-transfers you're definitely going to be paying over 10 grand to buy bitcoin right now on local bitcoins so basically let's look at the bitcoin uh, price in canadian dollars because local bitcoins always does charge you a little bit more than the price i'm in canada canada and a lot of other people are in canada that buy bitcoins and that watch this channel so it's currently nine thousand four hundred and forty dollars Canadian dollars for one Bitcoin and I did the math yesterday to to get Bitcoin uh, to pass ten thousand Canadian we would have to go to seven thousand eight hundred and forty dollars U.S. would mean that it's worth over 10,000 Canadian. And if we go like this, what I said, $7,840, $45, we're going to be above 10,000 Canadian. And we've hit 7,600. So the actual price, the actual value of Bitcoin, um, the high of Bitcoin in the past couple days would have been $9,759 Canadian. So we are tipping the $10,000 mark. It's already going to cost you over $10,000 to buy on some exchanges and things like local bitcoins. Uh, a lot of the easiest ways 
to get bitcoins it's going to cost you over ten thousand dollars right now to buy so uh i will do another follow-up video as soon as it does hit um or past ten thousand dollars canadian it will be a huge benchmark for cryptocurrency so move to canada your bitcoin is worth ten thousand dollars there you go peace i'm crypto keith this is crypto living and we're out